Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt from The Force, and in this series of videos, I'm going to be showing you guys the best techniques to effectively make your bases impenetrable. Now, since this is the beginning of the game, we're going to be starting off with a basic build, a basic base that I think most of you will find easy to construct. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm over at my house, my place, and... Okay, I did not plan for this to happen, but there's a deer on top of my house. But anyway, yeah, I'm back at my house in my own world. Actually in a spot where there's there's quite a bit of nature around here. It's great for great for food. I never have a problem in this area with food. I, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm, I'm absolutely certain this is a deer spawn. If you watched my previous video, crates do respawn loot, so this is another reason why I like this area. So we have these crates right here, and we also have the crates next to the cave to produce us uh, just stuff. I uh, don't need it, but just stuff, random stuff. Uh, it's, it's nice that things respawn. It kind of reminds me of Rust, uh, for people that build on, build crazy houses in this game. Eventually, they're going to use up all the resources on the map, so I guess they had to essentially make it so it would reset. So I wanted to show you guys how to make a defensive wall like mine. Now, for these defensive walls, you can actually you can actually reset them. So let's say you go ahead and make it into a defensive wall from a regular log. You can actually, if you want to turn that back into a regular log, you can, essentially. Um, now, it's probably going to mess up my entire wall, but sake of the video that's uh we've redone that log essentially we've reset it so we just go ahead and take it and somehow i'm going to <laughs> he's just chilling there we go who is new so essentially i gotta go through here and and make these all defensive walls however i'm going to show it for the sake of the video once you get them down go ahead and look up like i did before look up look for the red lines and then Go ahead and cut it. And do this for all of them. If you do not do this, the cannibals will climb the walls. Even though the walls make no sense, because they can just go through all my doors. <laughs> I actually had three doors here at one point and decided just to get rid of them. Uh, get rid of one. So I could have space in here to do whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, they walk through the doors anyway, so the wall doesn't do me much in terms of keeping the cannibals out. So if we're trying to stop cannibals from running through our doorways, there's only one thing we can do right now, and that is get rid of the doors. <laughs> and just put up a wall and do a defensive, uh, do a rope bridge like I'm going to show you guys here. Pretty much all we'd want to do, it's really easy, so let me get some logs here really quick. Actually take this, I just put these over here because I thought it was cool. We're going to grab our logs, go to the spot we want to enter the, build, the, the base from. Having the fire right there is probably not a good idea, but... We'll move it if it is. Start our wall here, and the idea is we want to make the wall here higher than the defensive wall. Say probably seven, seven logs maybe to get over the top there, flush. So that's six. Yeah, we need seven, at least seven. Tell this guy to fill up my log carrier. In this game, you don't want to fell your trees into your house. It's a wood cutting term, fell. <laughs> but you don't want to cut your trees and have them fall into the house. It will damage them. I actually took out took out my entire roof. It's been since repaired, but you generally just want to look the way you want to drop the tree. So if you're wondering how to aim them, just just look where you want to aim them and just keep cutting. All right, so we are over the wall now. You actually don't mean have to do this. I'll show you. There's two ways you can do this. The first is being build, building that wall like that. So let's get rid of this uh, stump here by just simply spamming it. I am sorry. Did I just kill him? You're fine. You walk it off. <laughs> walk it off all right so we want to best we want to line this up as best we can you can actually if you really are trying to 
line it up. Can go to something like that and then grab another log. Essentially just do this, which is the other way I was going to show you. And it's in the book, so it's it's you can build a rope wall or kind of like what I'm doing with that rope or that side. Jump if we can't get to it, and then we'll do this. One more log. Alright, so now we get our rope. A rope. We need to finish the center point, obviously, but I'm just gonna show you. Alright, cool. We got two pieces. We got more than for rope here. So we do this. This will be our entry point. And then we go into the base. Right into the fire. So we're going to have to move that. <laughs> There you go, so now we could effectively get rid of the doors here. Or what I'm most likely going to do is open up this wall and just go around around the front here with the wall. Um, but effectively I, I could block this off. I've already done it. Uh, I blocked, essentially I blocked this, this hallway off already. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this improves your base a little bit. Because now you can chill in your base without having to worry about cannibals coming in through the doorway. <laughs> you also can use the platform as a way to get up on your wall. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is a great location. Probably for a lot of people this is a great location because you got you got deer spawning, you got fish pretty close. I believe there's fish up there. So if you're curious where this is, just look in the GPS. This is where it is. It's next to that big like uh, lake 